Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you an action mystery film, The Witch, Part 2, the other one. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a child inside a cow shed. She's bloody, shaking in fear, and breathing deeply. She looks down at her blood-covered hands and then takes a couple of steps back. She hears a voice calling for her, asking her to hurry and come to her mommy. Overwhelmed by the noises, she covers her ears. In the present time, a woman wakes up on a bus, surrounded by other people who are having a sing-along. The passengers fall asleep not too long after, and the bus takes a turn and gets off the highway. They stop at what seems to be an abandoned mine. Someone releases sleeping gas, and those who stand up to escape are shoved back to their seat. One of the men grabs the woman. It seems she was their target, and the rest are just collateral damage. She wakes up and hears the news reporting about the tour bus that fell under a bridge. It's the same tour bus she was on. An older woman with long hair sits beside her on the bed and starts caressing her hair. The younger woman tells her that she's pregnant. The older woman informs her that she already knows, and that the baby is a girl and will have a younger sister who'll be her twin. The younger woman is confused and asks what she means. Another woman approaches them, and she looks just like the older woman, except with shorter hair. She comments that it seems she doesn't know who she is. Years later, a secret lab is attacked. A girl, also known as Ark, wakes up to an alarm blaring. She's covered in blood and walks out in a daze. Due to the light, the noises, and the smell, she's overwhelmed and cowers for a moment. In another part of Korea, a group of men drives up to a mansion close to the sea. They're led by Jang, the head of a secret research institute. While waiting inside the mansion, weird black veins crop up on his face. He clicks his tongue and comments that it's what happens when you come to an old woman's house. Chief, the older woman from earlier, approaches Jang. She's wheelchair-bound now. She asks him directly about the accident in the lab. He scoffs and confirms that their headquarters has been breached. She asks if it's related to their previous problem, and Jang affirms this. He wonders out loud who had released them and what their purpose was. He insinuates that she's involved. Not taking his bait, she instructs him that they should investigate right away. Ark finds herself in the middle of a highway. She starts walking in one direction when a van out of nowhere passes by, almost hitting her. It backs up, and she's forced inside the van. Inside, she finds Beauty, who's been abducted by the men. Beauty complains that Ark has nothing to do with anything, and asks them why they took her. With Beauty still arguing, the men's patience runs thin, and they start beating her up. They also continue to bother Ark, even after she repeatedly tells them to stop. She breaks the arm of the guy up front, as well as the guy sitting next to her. A fight ensues with the van swerving around, and the doors getting ripped apart. Beauty gets out of the van, and finds Ark about to kill the last of the men. She stops her and calls for help. Uncle arrives and worries over Beauty and her injuries. She tells him not to worry and hurries him back inside his car when he finally notices Ark. She attempts to walk toward the two, but passes out before she can reach them. At Uncle's veterinary clinic, he takes out the shrapnel littered all over the back of Ark's body. Something blue courses through Ark's body, and she gains consciousness for a moment. Uncle studies her x-ray and is shocked when he looks back at her body and finds the wounds gone. After tending to Ark, Uncle rants to Beauty, and we find out that she's being harassed by Yang, a boss of a crime organization. Not interested in talking about him, Beauty asks how Ark is doing. Uncle reassures her that he made sure to give her proper treatment. He inquires if they should report the incident to the police, but Beauty confesses she's afraid for Ark, since they don't know the whole story. In a church, a woman referred to as Captain, repeatedly shoots the head of one of the bodies sprawled on the floor. It appears that she has killed off everyone that was inside the building. She gets in a car where her subordinate scolds her for not waiting for backup. Back at her place, she tends to her injuries. Weird black veins crawl up to her right arm, the same ones that popped up on Jang's face. She punches the wall in anger, and they disappear soon after. She sits in front of her laptop and absorbs the information displayed on the screen. It looks like she's part of the group that had attacked the secret lab. Beauty takes Ark home. The brother playfully grabs Beauty by the cheek, asking her about her injuries. But Ark takes it the wrong way and holds onto his arm to stop him. He asks Beauty who she is, and she introduces her as a little sister that will be staying with them for a while. Captain with her subordinate meets up with Chief at her mansion. The older woman gives them all the information she has on Ark. She explains that she's important for the project. We find out that Ark is the baby the pregnant girl was carrying. Captain asks about Jia Yoon, the protagonist from the first movie, and Chief explains that she was seen at the lab last month, but that's the last she's heard about her. She considers Jia Yoon weaker than Ark, since the other girl relies on the blue serums, so she's not much of a threat. Captain accepts the assignment, and Chief gives her a tracker she can use to find Ark. As they leave Chief's mansion, Captain notices someone tailing them. They go off the road with the men following them. After the subordinate rams them with the SUV, the men angrily get out of their smashed car. He provokes them into attacking him. 
A subordinate easily defeats them. Before leaving, Captain declares that they should inform their boss to meet up with her. That evening in her bedroom, Ark notices blood dripping from her nose. She's hit with an intense headache and starts hearing her mom calling her. She calms herself down, slowing down time to get a grip. When she snaps out of it, she walks up to her window and sees a couple of cars heading toward the house. Beauty is up front carrying a shotgun as the men arrive. Yan introduces himself. He's curious if it's just her defending herself, inquiring where the others are, since some of his men who initially kidnapped her had been maimed badly. He assumes she has a group working for her as well. She refuses to answer, so he gives the signal for his men to attack. Beauty fires a warning shot, but is easily overpowered. Her brother comes up from the side and hits one of the men with a bat, but the man hits back. Yang announces that he's willing to forget everything if Beauty signs the document to turn their property over to him. Beauty refuses. Ark is standing on top of the roof, watching the scene before her. Yang and his men order her to get down. She jumps and everyone ducks in fear. Ark lands safely on one of the tables below and then calmly walks over to the man who has been hitting Beauty. She kicks him hard enough that he's sent flying towards the barn door. During the fast and furious fight, she starts taking them down one by one. Ark approaches Yang who's shaking. Before she can do further damage, Beauty hurries in front of Ark to ask her to stop since she's alright now. She then turns to Yang and instructs him to leave and never return. Beauty's brother is enamored with Ark. While Beauty helps him with his wound, all he can focus on is how cool Ark is. She teases him since she has never seen him like this. On the other hand, Captain finally caught Ark's signal, and they're close. The next day, Jay meets up with Captain. They're familiar with each other. After exchanging pleasantries, Jang asks her directly why she came back. He tells her that he knows the chief called her, but he wants to know why she answered. He assumes it's because of Jae Yoon. She only stares at him, and he figures he got it right. He informs her that the girl had looted labs for the blue serums, and reprimands her for thinking it was his doing. She warns him to stop having her followed, since she won't just sit back. Yang and his men harass Uncle this time. He accuses him of doing illegal surgeries, which Uncle vehemently denies. Yang threatens to cut off his right hand, and then orders Uncle to tell him all he knows about Ark. In the car, Beauty's brother is teaching Ark about mukbang streamers, but she's more interested in the food they're eating and keeps asking if they'll get them later. They get to the grocery, where Ark's amazed by all the food. While shopping, Beauty receives a call from Uncle and rushes to his side. They return to Uncle's veterinary clinic, where Uncle asks her to let Ark go and informs her that in the end, they'll need to hand over the land and the house to Yang. Beauty gets in her car to go home, when Captain also slips into the passenger seat. Yang reveals to an organization about Ark, since he was expecting money. However, in his Shanghai research lab, one of the labs hit by Jae Yoon sends in a group with special abilities instead. He finds them waiting in his office, with most of his men dead and bleeding on the floor. They ask him where Ark is. Beauty gets home, and we find out that Captain had shown her a security video of Ark killing people in the lab before escaping. Captain gives Beauty a phone. If she wants to protect her brother, she'll need to listen to her. While waiting for a call from Captain, Beauty stops her brother from taking Ark to watch the fireworks. Captain and her group surround the property and are waiting for the fireworks, since they'll be using it as the cover when they start shooting. Apologizing, Beauty advises Ark to run. Just outside, Captain notices Yang and his men approaching, this time with the Shanghai Research Lab group together. The brother directs Ark to go. Facing Yang and his men again, Beauty brings out the shotgun. This time, Yang asks about Ark. She pretends not to know what he means, and he curses her out. Angry at the continued stubbornness, Yang shoots Beauty. The fireworks start, and Captain's men launch missiles toward the house as well. Someone from the Shanghai Research Lab heads towards where the missile came from. A fight ensues between her and one of Captain's men. It ends with the girl from the Shanghai Research Lab beheading him. The brother is trying to revive Beauty. Yang comes up to him and tells him that he's had enough of them. Realizing that it's moot to explain his history to Beauty's brother, he prepares to shoot him so he can join Beauty. But Captain is faster and shoots Yang in his right shoulder. She warns them to leave before she gets angry, since they're not part of the plan. Before Yang's men can run, someone from the Shanghai Research Lab uses her ability to kill them. A fierce fight ensues between the Shanghai Research Lab and Captain's group. Captain kills one of them, while her subordinate is temporarily taken down. She's kicked off the roof and lands next to the brother. Before continuing the fight, she tells the brother to run. Yang raises his shotgun, refusing to give up. The subordinate stomps on his injured shoulder, while Captain uses her body as a meat shield to cover the brother. Captain realizes that despite using her body to cover him, his boy is still hit on the chest. Ark regains consciousness and finds herself in the middle of the woods. She wakes up just in time to see the fireworks. She watches mesmerize and reminisces the good memories she had of the siblings. The woman from the Shanghai lab who beheaded one of Captain's men stumbles upon Ark. She excitedly exclaims that it's her and wonders how she's still alive because she thought she had smashed her head. She decides to cut off her neck instead and moves to attack Ark. However, Ark is stronger and has better abilities. 
She slows down time, grabs the woman's knife, and uses it to stab through the woman's head. A subordinate asks how the siblings are doing, but Captain stands before their dead bodies. Upset, she takes out a knife and heads for Yang. A subordinate attempts to stop her, since he's considered a civilian, but is punched so hard by the only guy from the Shanghai Research Lab. The fighting resumes, with Captain successfully stabbing the guy in the neck. While distracted, the girl who can heal herself, stabs Captain from behind, and the two start slicing her up. Before they can shoot her in the head, the subordinate musters the last of his strength and tackles the guy holding the gun. The subordinate successfully stabs the guy, but he declares that it only hurts, but doesn't do anything else for them. Ark finally arrives back on the scene, dragging the body of the woman she killed. She also finds the dead body of the two siblings. She heads for Yang, who's trying to crawl away. She steps on his feet and breaks it. She glances over to the remaining two from the Shanghai lab, with the guy belittling her. Without saying anything or even moving, she uses her ability to disintegrate his right arm. The girl who can heal herself, turns towards Ark and is slapped hard and to the side. With Yang still alive, she walks up to him again and resumes stepping on his ankle, slowly breaking it. The girl attacks her again, and this time, Ark stops her with her hand. She uses her ability, so that the girl can turn her knife towards herself and gradually stabs it through her neck. The guy then uses his ability to levitate rocks and throw them towards Ark. However, her abilities casually stop them. She destroys the rocks into tiny pieces and disintegrates his body by cutting him over and over again with them. After watching the death of the last of her friends, the girl starts crawling back in fear of Ark. Zhou Hyun, the leader of the Shanghai Research Lab group, arrives. The girl walks up to her to ask if she knows Ark. It turns out Ark is the leader's sister. She asks her who told them that they could hurt her sister when she ordered them to release her. She then grabs the girl's head and breaks her neck. Zhou Hyun revealed that she's been following Ark since she left the secret lab, but she can always feel her in her mind. Ark asks if she had let her go, and Zhou Hyun agrees, reasoning that they need each other. Zhou Hyun also admits she knows that Ark's mind is connected with her mother and that their mother's been looking for Ark, but not her. She offers her hand to Ark and invites her to join her, but Ark walks away toward Beauty and her brother's bodies. Zhou Hyun finds it curious that Ark feels for the siblings. She offers a vial of blue serum and informs her that she can bring only one of them back, but warns her that they won't be human. They both turn towards Yang, who's still trying to crawl away. His whole body is covered with weird black veins. He cries out and then stops moving, eyes wide and blood dripping from his mouth. Zhou Hyun asks Ark if wouldn't it be better to die as a human. Realizing she's right, Ark falls back to the ground. Zhou Hyun stabs her on the neck with a red serum, which makes her pass out. She then tells her that they'll be going to their mother. Back at Chief's mansion, she tells her daughter that the twins met and that they'll be looking for their mother soon. She thinks it's time to get ready. The movie ends with the twins' mother floating in some kind of space. The camera pans closer to her. Her eyes suddenly blink open, and the screen fades to black. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.